northern part of our viewing area may not have as much to shovel, but getting around still proved to be a bit of a challenge today. WLWT News Vice Karen Johnson is live for us in Westchester tonight. Karen, what are the roads like around you now? Well, you know, Sheree, I got to tell you, we've been out here. We've seen the crews out salting and plowing, but the roads still, as you can see, they're not in the greatest shape. Tylersville here, this is a pretty good example of what we've been seeing throughout Butler and Warren counties. I like a lot of snow. Four year old Audrey is bundled up and ready to go tubing, but the slick roads has her mother saying, let's wait another day. We might wait till tomorrow because the roads, so. Yeah. Might just go and stay warm, turn on the TV, and. Cook dinner. The snow covered highways force drivers to take it slow. Well, I've just come from uh, down south up 75, and it's, I mean, 30 miles an hour, if that. You can barely see the lines on the road. We saw cars sliding off the road in Liberty Township. Spin outs at intersections in Mason got hearts pounding. One driver lost control while we were live on the air at noon. Way along Mason Montgomery, that car right there just slid, and this is exactly what we've been seeing up here. In Colerain Township, a driver took a turn on John Rose Drive a little too fast. He slid off the road, crashed through a fence, and down into a creek. He was rescued by firefighters. They had a crew down in the water. They were able to uh, support the door with ropes and then pull him out, and then they brought up a uh, backboard. Uh, to the side by the fence here and, and got him out of the water. Tonight, road crews in Butler and Warren counties continue to salt and plow, but many roads remain a slushy, slippery mess. Uh, it's pretty crazy out there. And you may see crews out here on the county roads. However, if you live in Monroe, you might not see any. The city just posted on its Facebook that it's not going to be treating residential streets. The city's concern is that it's too cold out here for the salt to activate. And if they take the snow that gives traction to the tires, that the streets and the residential areas are just going to turn into one big ice skating rink. Reporting live tonight in Westchester, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.